And then lastly, bulky stage one and two, most commonly, this is a large mediastinal mass. Uh, the most typical patients in this category are young females. This traditionally has been treated with combined modality treatment with chemotherapy plus radiation therapy since it was shown many years ago that chemotherapy alone without radiation therapy led to, there was a, uh, uh, there were recurrences within the bulky area suggesting that the chemotherapy didn't get rid of all of it, and that was the rationale for adding radiation therapy. And likewise, uh, patients treated just with radiation therapy developed recurrences in the lungs outside of the radiation therapy field. So that was kind of standard treatment. However, this is, again, a real problem with respect to long-term toxicity, particularly to the mediastinum, particularly in young women who have many years of life ahead of them, hopefully, and the late toxicities, the cardiovascular events, and the second malignancies tend to occur 10 to 20 years later. And uh, again, the mediastinum is an area that really has a lot of uh, areas that, where you can see toxicity. I mean, the heart, the great vessels, heart valves, uh, breast cancer, thyroid cancer, head and neck cancer, and so on. So recently, it's been shown in a randomized trial the, conducted by the Phil Group in Italy, uh, in which uh, they uh, used a dose, uh, they used a uh, risk adapted approach with uh, interim PET scans after initial two cycles of a ABVD in patients with three and four, but also patients with bulky mediastinal disease. And for the patients who, after two cycles of ABVD, achieved uh, uh, a complete response by PET scan criteria. Uh, these patients who had initial bulky disease were randomized to either receive uh, four more cycles of ABVD or four, four more cycles of ABVD plus radiation therapy, which was a standard treatment for many years. And what was found with a three-year median follow-up that there was no difference in relapse rate uh, between these two arms. And I think that this is really, really important data, which I think establishes, at least for me, that, um, that it is not necessary to radiate everybody who has initial bulky disease if they achieve a negative PET scan, either after two cycles of treatment or there's other data for end of treatment.